Hello everyone, my name is Armin, welcome to my gaming channel. I'll be continuing my Let's Play series of Age of Wonders Planetfall. I'm playing as Alvena Rosmonda, a old bound Promethean commander. Right now I am moving my forces around my territory, clearing out different nodes, landmarks, you name it. The last episode I managed to do a couple of quests, one for the Therians and one a for Imperial Renown for the Shakarm. This has earned me some extra experience as well as some renown which allowed me to buy the Altona monitor so now I can produce those in my colonies. Also I've managed to locate a old bound settlement here on the other side of this body of water and this makes my job a little bit easier because I can cap grab the settlement, make a colony, build a orbital relay here and that would make moving between these colonies and this one much easier. The downside is that there is a lot of volcanic terrain over here which would hamper my economy as well as my settlement happiness. However, I can circumvent that much quite fast because I can grab the Phoenix Dawn protocols and the Phoenix colonization protocols which will cause my colonies to ignore all economic penalties from hazard and volcanic terrain and I will want to utilize that as soon as possible. But right now, next in the next turn I'm gonna have another squire ready here I'm gonna go and send him here to this landmark to get rid of these Therians from here. And I'm gonna go and capture the sector as next. After I'm done it with that, the next sector that I'm gonna capture will be this transmission terminal and I'm gonna go and change it into a residential district because this will be my fourth district right now another residential district will be here in scattered woods to grab this DNA alteration alteration lab and last but not least another energy sector which I suppose will be in the rugged terrain here in these mountains so that's my plan for now and let's end turn now Got still a couple of things here to clear out. For sure, I wanna go and clear this place out so that I can get some more production here up and going. So I'm gonna go and send. I suppose I could send this secondary stack only there. That should manage. So let's do that. And I'm gonna go and send my main stack right now over here to get rid of this shroud generator and I'm gonna go and check this broadcast station right now since it's quite close let's clear these guys out of here that's better now in Herds of Sacrifice I said that I'm gonna go and grab these bio farms next however I'm wondering whether I sh whether I shouldn't grab the bar barra coast right now in order to start, bu start building up some seaborne units because I'm gonna need them here quite heavily okay Got another quest from the Terrians it's a research quest Could grab a viral sniper rifle from them let's accept that it'll take four turns to deal with that one I suppose if I were to move one colonist from any of these to research that should be enough to finish this one in three turns and I'm gonna do that. And the Therians demand some energy. Good thing that we have a much bigger stockpile now so I'm gonna go and accept that demand. Okay, looks like the Syrians are here as well. Still got enough influence to clear them out of there next turn. So that's fine. 
got some goodies here and there. Here we've got some livestock farms and an imperial production stash. In this territory it looks quite interesting I must admit. Looks like it's quite a long peninsula here. I'm not sure whether this is finishes here or there is more land due east from here. Can't tell. Okay, let's grab this. Got another Promethean vault there. Hmm. Let's check this here. Let's upgrade the great archives here with energy sectors upgrade as well as the op optimization control agency. After I'm done with those I'm gonna build a recreational dome because my happiness is quite low right now. Could use a boost there. So let's end turn. Let's move my stack here. Let's clear these guys out. Then Let's see what we got here. Okay. We had another player here. She needs a friend. Nice to meet you. Okay. So I got two players that need a friend, the two that don't have too much of an opinion of me. And it looks like the spacers are trying to move against me again. A proposal from Ellen Shaw. Not interested. Not right now. Got this done. So right now, I'm gonna go and grab the combat manuscript to grab this healing banner here. Now these two are at war, again. Okay, fine by me. Let's annex a new sector here. Let's move here. We really need that den of yours. Let's, or let's close this channel for a moment, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna use the Yager only to clear up this place. Now I'm gonna move south. This way I've just... I managed to... what do they call it? Get some extra move now that that I would call it. Operations primed and ready. Okay, now I can upgrade my Aspirin into a Protector here, and I'm gonna do that, since I can. And the next thing I can do is switch up these mods. Could grab a Purification Field here, or I could use the Arc Retaliation Defense. And I'm more willing to go for the Arc Retaliation Defense right now. Here I can grab something else. Could go for an entropic decomposer or a sedating decay component. Hmm. This allow me to apply slow movement and reduce accuracy. This on the other hand reduces the damage output by 50% for each stack. I'm gonna go for the sedating decay component right now. Could upgrade Oswald here. At that I'm gonna do. Let's grab the static build up module here. Since I'm gonna need it. And the other thing that I'm gonna grab is a note of loyalty.
Could upgrade this purifier as well. Let's grab the hazmat protection for some extra status effect resistance here. Okay. That's fine. So next turn we're moving into the broadcast station here. This will be the next sector that I'm gonna annex. Got this scout here. Let's see what we have here in the sea. Coral Expanse looks like a large uninhabitable sector here. Now I feel like this is a little bit risky but I feel that this is also manageable. Let's try it out. Got a couple of wild shrikes. One from which is an advanced one. A little bit tougher. We've got one Lightbringer. Which isn't too much of a concern. At least that, that's the way I feel about it. So I'm gonna go and move the Aspirin up front. And the Warden behind. Planter will... I'm gonna move with them like this right now. Okay, here they come. They used up their healing Operations pools ready. there. Now let's take a look. Get a bunch of operations here. An arc discharge can cause stagger that would make it much easier to hit these shrikes and eliminating them. Which I wanna do because they will be quite annoying Enemy if I don't get rid of them as soon as possible. Also gonna drop a warden's banner here because I can. Now here I'm in a bit of a spot. Need to support here. Crit. That wasn't fun. Triple Grace there. Ouch. Now well, that was pretty bad. I hope that I won't lose any unit, but looks like that's not the case. Our forces are victorious. Hmm. Actually lost almost two units. It was a prime rank too. Very unfortunate. Nothing that I can do about that right now. Get some more Psyfish over here. Let's take a closer look here. Nothing of interest, so... Let's move Cell, let's see what we have here. Sonokarm and a Harbinger. Tough call. I'm not ready for that fight at all right now. Production ready. Here my colony is still upgrading, so let's end the turn. Someone completed the operator as, as a pioneer. Now we can recruit another hero, Raph Rallies, from our previous conquest. Let's recruit him. Got a mission from the Psyfish. Not interested, not right now. Production ready. Now here. 
Now I could start producing a few units here. However, I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm a little bit short of co on cost might and I'm not willing to spend that right now. Could grab a black guard here. A tier 2 vehicle. Grab that. Okay. Now, rough rallies. I'm gonna go and make out of him a specialist hero. With just he will use a he will use active skills. That's my usual way of using him. So right now, I'm gonna grab disrupting hack. Perhaps I will use something else as well. Could, grow, could grab Rallying Cry here. Could also go for a Colony Lord upgrade. I'm gonna go for the Energetic Efficiency here. I'm gonna go and use him as a colony lord here and when I'm done with those I'm gonna go and build a throne here also I need to upgrade the production sectors and build a engineering guild here I'm gonna queue those up to be to build first as soon as this optimization control agency gets ready Okay, the incineration strike is done. Operations primed and ready. Gonna go and prepare the plasmoid deployment. Hmm. Now let's see, do I have any mods here to install still? Yeah, an Oswald. He still could use some. What I would love to install here is another offensive mod, however right now I don't have any access to I don't have access to any. So now I'm gonna postpone that right now. I don't have any offensive mods for my for Alvina here. Grab something here for the planter. Could grab a purification field, actually, and an ult of loyalty. I'm gonna grab another ult of loyalty for this warden here. Okay, now, got this broadcast station here, let's see what we have here. Bunch of tier 3 units, a couple of sentinels, an Emma, and a golem. And the fact that I have half of my stag uses arc damage and I don't have a monitor, so they will be quite vulnerable to that. However, I don't have any up points left, so I'm gonna go and postpone that for one turn. And it looks like I'm in the... Looks like my scout is in danger, so I'm gonna have to move him on land right now. Looks like I won't be able to scout that area out for a bit. Let's move here. Now here. I'm gonna go and generate energy for one turn because I could use that. I'm a little bit low here. After I'm done with that, I'll build the skirmisher barracks here. 
And let's end the turn. Now, Santa Severus up there. Let's take this reward here. Now let's move in here. It's a low risk battle. The most dangerous unit is this walker because of those arc missiles as well as the fact that it also deals arc damage and most of my units are machines so they are vulnerable to arc damage. But the rest I will manage. I suppose. Alright. Now the other thing. They got two units that have AoE attacks, so I will want to have to take that into that in mind. So I'm gonna go and move these units in a way that they won't I need to watch out not to cluster up my units too much. They do have this golem and he can move into overwatch range, however he won't be able to act while in there, so I'm gonna go and use the defense mode. And the pure fire will be in the back right now. Okay. Let's see what they do. Here they come. Precognition kicked in. Fine by me. Operations available. Got that mining laser, that's a bummer. That will that will prove a bit annoying. So right now. Got the momentary insight. Could potentially use that against that golem because the crits, I believe, they increase the stack impact by one level. So I could use that to my advantage. So let's drop momentary insight here, Oswald. I'm gonna go and move in a little closer and drop and try to drop this guy out of overwatch. There we go. That went nice. I'm gonna go and move the paladin over here. Now let's move the purifier closer. Let's drop a Plasma bomb over here. Let's try to burn the fry these guys. Double burning. Very good. I'm gonna go and move this protector over here and enter defense mode right now. And I'm gonna charge in here and simply attack this unit. Now, this also re removed the cover, so now I can use my auger to attack here. The Emma has reactive shielding, so it will reduce the damage with each shot. However, it will still do enough damage, and the next thing this Emma does, it will be dead. Unless they manage to stagger my unit somehow. Let's see what they do now. Okay, need to heal up over there. So let's drop last stand here. Now I really need to get rid of this walker because she'll be annoying me like hell. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move the protector over here. I'm gonna go and start whopping this Justicar here. Next thing I will move Asphalt Pierce over here and I'm gonna go and shoot this Walker. I'm gonna go and start moving in closer with the Purifier 
it's immune to fire hazards, so you won't get damaged by this. Now, I wonder what should I do with this guy. Really need to get rid of it right now, because he will do quite a lot of pain there. I don't want to see him here. Okay, drop a localized DK on these units. This will cause entropic DK while also dealing 10 damage. Now this is another thing that I've mistaken here because this the overtime effect it reduces the entropy resistance so it makes it much more vulnerable to units like the augurs or the scryer. It doesn't affect doesn't do damage over time. Which I thought it did. Okay, what I'm gonna do gonna drop a arc discharge here. This way I can remove this guy here. Right now. Enemy eliminated. One enemy less. The other thing that I'm gonna do is moving over here. I'm gonna go and enter defense mode. Simply to reduce the to increase the shields here on my hero. Okay, last stand kit in. So now, got still this Justicar here, so let's remove him. Enemy killed. Now let's move in closer with Oswald. Let's get rid of this Sentinel, this is the last unit here. There we go. That went fine. Got a lot of influence there. And the create archives really need that recreational dome here. Okay. So now this area is clear out right now. Now I can go and try to clear out a little bit here I'm thinking about this expansion complex here especially still need to check out what's over there gonna go and move my scout there and I ask these this psyfish to move out of here so I can remove that cluster mine launcher so it won't annoy me here they demand energy so let's give them some. And Alvina Rosamonda can now get up, can an upgrade. Let's take a look. Could go for a purging field, but that I'm not too interested in that. Could grab the Oracle's Prodigy. That won't benefit me right now at all. Intuitive strikes might prove useful. I managed to keep that stack of recognition there. Hmm. Or I could grab a commanding ability. Ground commander might prove most useful here. However, what I'm thinking about, I'm gonna go with the colony lord upgrade right now. Uh, once more. And I'm also gonna go and grab the attenuators here. This will make her stagger immune. So well, it will also boost the status effect resistance to 10. And that's quite a large resistance there. Okay, let's confirm this. Let's link her to the colony. Herzog's sacrifice. And after I'm done with that, I'm gonna go and build another throne there. 
So since I've already cleared this area out, I could go and try to grab here this anomaly. Which I suppose I could. Or I could also go to Scatter Woods and clear up this Therian Alteration Lab. Because that will be the next sector that I'm willing to annex. So yeah, I'm gonna go this way right now. And I'm gonna go sell Ramp Ramp Rallies that way. I'm gonna go and see what's over here. Production ready. Okay, got the optimization control agency here. Okay, I need to clear out of here before I lose a scout again. Okay. Got incoming communication. Got complimented. Let's compliment her again as well. Okay. She's ruthless, huh? So I need to watch out. She doesn't she does need a little reason to go to war, so if I were to annoy her some way, get give her some reason to go to war. She would do it quite fast. Anyway, that's the end of the turn and the end of the episode right now. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe and comment my videos. Let me know how you feel about them. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you around.